previous to, to, to coming to St. Elizabeth, I was a financial counselor um, where we would apply for financial assistance or Medicaid uh, for our uninsured or underinsured patients. And I think that's where I first kind of started to um, really understand how difficult dealing with anything financial as a, as a patient and all the different challenges that entails. I try and my associates try to put ourselves in the position of the patient. Uh, we try to do our best to um, assist them, just different, try to give them as many um, options as we can to help. And there, there was a one patient um, in particular that um, she was diagnosed with breast cancer and she had a double mastectomy and just her letter and, and how thankful she was that we were able to help her and we were able to um, assist her getting her bills paid through the financial assistance program. It just, we were able to take a piece of that away from her so she didn't have to deal with that. I think the best part is to be able to help people. I think it's my mom. My, uh, my mom has taught me the value of giving. Yeah, there was a lot of uh, people she would try to help. Just, just, just a lot of different things that I remember growing up where she would try to assist other people. Not so much worry about herself, but worry about trying to help a friend or um, a family member out with a situation that was going on at the time. She's a hospice nurse, and I listen to her, you know, her stories every day, and it's just a real, I think you get so much more out of life by giving helping others, uh, just, there's just so many, many positives that, that come from that. We, uh, we worked together, we, uh, we were both in school, um, and we both worked at Citibank right here in Florence, um, and that's where we met, and started dating and kind of went from there. I asked her father, she's a, uh, her, her family's a big Italian fa family, so I was told I, sh I should ask permission, so I was really nervous. But uh, he's a great guy. He just made just wanted to make sure that she was ready, and I said, I hope so. Um, well, when I, when I first, got, first met my wife, she, she, she had Logan already. So um, he was, I think, two when I first met him. Um, it, 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 was a, it was a big transition um, because I went from being his friend to, to now his dad, and uh, it was a, it was, it was some, there were some challenges involved with that. But, um, so he's a freshman this year, so um, I've been in his life, um, you know, 12, 12 years. Um, so I've seen a lot of, you know, a lot of change, and he's, you know, he's, he's a great kid. Logan is 14, uh, Jack is nine, and Josephine just turned three today. I spend a lot of my weekends at, at soccer games or practices and uh, um, just really enjoy watching them grow up. There's many different programs and many different things that our department can do to help uh, a patient that's, had, that's struggling or that's trying to figure out how they're going to you know, pay their bills and, and now they have this, you know, this illness or this, this medical bill and what can they do. I just want them to know that if they would reach out, we could figure out a way to help them give them the best care that I can, but not just to focus on their cancer, to focus on them as a whole patient. And you know, I you know understand that they are more than just their cancer. 